Hello, English learners, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. I'm Amira. Amira and I are here today with an interesting lesson about a hotel situation. Amira, why don't you give us a little bit more information? Well, the situation is taking place in a hotel, and someone is checking in and is obtaining an upgrade. An upgrade. Okay, that's an interesting word. Why don't we listen to the dialogue and then we'll come back and explain all this vocabulary. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I'd like to check in, please. I have a reservation under the name Anthony Roberts. All right. Uh, Roberts. Oh, Mr. Roberts, we've been expecting you. And here is your key card to the presidential suite. But there must be some mistake. My reservation was for a standard room. Are you sure? Let me double check. Yeah, here, this is my confirmation number. You're right, Mr. Roberts. There seems to be a mix up. Unfortunately, we're overbooked at the moment. So. Uh, not to worry. We're pleased to offer you a, a complimentary upgrade. Woohoo! Presidential suite, baby! Okay, everyone. That is nice, huh? Yeah, the guy is really excited that he's going to get the presidential suite. Yes, there's some interesting phrases and vocabulary items here. And I know, Marco, you want to talk about some of them. Right. Um, the first one, and this is really useful for all of our listeners who travel a lot. This phrase will come in handy. And it is, I have a reservation under the name. Under the name. Under the name. Under the name. So before we explain this phrase, let's listen to some examples on how it is used in other situations and then we'll come back and give you more information. My secretary made a reservation under my name. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have a reservation under that name. Do you have a reservation under the name Smith? All right, some really good examples there on how we could use this phrase in other situations. But just in case, let me explain it real fast. Under the name means that when you go to the restaurant or a hotel and you tell them your name, they know that you are the person that they have been expecting, they have been waiting. Yes. Well, I have chosen another useful phrase for you and it is mix up. Mix up. Mix up. Mix up. There seems to be a mix up. Before we talk about this phrase, let's listen to some examples of how it is used. There was a mix-up at the airport and my bags were sent to Antarctica. I'm sorry, sir. There's been a terrible mix-up. We've given you the wrong baby. <laughs> okay, that was useful and funny. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the baby situation. Oh my God, imagine that happening. Yeah, I know. Well, guys, so a mix-up is a confusion or a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Exactly, well put. All right, Marco, what do you have for us? Okay, the next word that we should take a look at is... Overbooked. 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 What does that mean? So if a hotel or a flight is overbooked, it means that they are full. They are more than full. Right. So they cannot accept any more people. Exactly. Okay. Now, uh, why is this phrase useful? Because it happens all the time. There are so many other situations where you can use this word or hear it from other native English speakers. Um, for example, a bus or a train can be overbooked. Exactly, that's really common. 
Okay, let's take a look at the last phrase for today, and that is complimentary upgrade. Complimentary upgrade. Complimentary upgrade. Complimentary upgrade. So this means that, for example, when、uh, the hotel is overbooked and all of their standard rooms are full, they will give you a better room, a more expensive room, but free. Yes, because it was not your fault. Right. This also happens sometimes if you're lucky on airplane flights. Yes. So if you are in economy class and an airplane, but for some reason it's overbooked, they will move you to business class or first class for free. I have a similar story, but I'm not going to tell you about it now. For now, let's go and listen to the dialogue one more time, and when we come back, we'll talk some more. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I'd like to check in, please. I have a reservation under the name Anthony Roberts. All right,、uh, Roberts. Oh, Mr. Roberts, we've been expecting you, and here is your key card to the presidential suite. But there must be some mistake. My reservation was for a standard room. Are you sure? Let me double check. Yeah, here. This is my confirmation number. You're right, Mr. Roberts. There seems to be a mix-up. Unfortunately, we're overbooked at the moment. So.、Uh, not to worry. We're pleased to offer you a, a complimentary upgrade. Woohoo! Presidential suite, baby. I love listening to this dialogue. It just—it's、uh, just so nice to see that someone is enjoying his upgrade so much, huh? Yeah, especially since he was expecting just a really normal room, and now he's gonna be treated like a king. So, Marco, have you ever gotten a complimentary upgrade? Yes, yes, I did. When I was traveling through India, I bought a normal seat in the train, but for some reason. The, it was overbooked, so I talked to the、um, station manager, and I got a complimentary upgrade to first class. I had a similar experience as well. I was flying from Shanghai to Qatar, and、uh, I actually had an economy seat, but for some reason they just upgraded me, and I was so happy. Oh, really? Like、yes. it wasn't overbooked?、Uh, well, I'm not sure because normally the night flight is not. That full, but they upgraded me for some reason, and、oh. I was so happy. It was an upgrade to first class. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. I,、yes. I would prefer a first class upgrade on an airplane. Yeah, any day. Well, you know what really amazed me was like the the food you get there. You know, you have a five course meal. Oh, really? Yes. And you get all the drinks you y- can get, right? Exactly. Wow, that yeah, I would be really happy there. All right, everyone, we're out of time today, but be sure. To listen tomorrow because we'll be back again with another great podcast. And also, don't forget to go to our website at EnglishPod.com and leave us all your questions and comments in our community forum. Yes, and we would also appreciate your suggestions. And、um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. And Marco and I will be back tomorrow with another great lesson for you. But for now, it's bye. bye.